Hey, welcome to Friday mornings, follow the light. As we're following the light, Jesus Christ, the light of the world. And as you follow the light one day at a time, he illuminates your path and he begins to give you a new direction, a new vision, new dreams. Um, and we're on John chapter 10. We're going through the book of John one chapter at a time, looking at the gospel of John and following the life of Jesus Christ, the light of the world. And we're halfway through our journey. And uh, John 10 is powerful because... In John 10, Jesus says that he is the good shepherd. And he says that uh, the sheep hear my voice and they know my voice. They recognize my voice. Um, many times people ask Chris and I, how do you know if God is speaking to you? How do you know? And we always tell them, honestly, we've never had God speak in an audible voice to us. I guess he knows that would freak us out. He could do that if he wants, but... Um, the way God speaks to us is in several ways. Through his word, as we read God's word, God opens up our eyes to different promises and, and he guides us through his word. You see, God's will never contradicts God's word. And so if uh, God's word says we're not to do something, it's only for our own good because God created us and he knows how we work best. And so something outside of what God's word says, if God's word says, no, don't do this, then you don't have to pray about it. And if God's word says, do this, you don't have to pray about it. Just do it. And so, um, but when you're making a decision, trying to find God's path for your life and those next steps, um, you want to get into God's word every day and seek God. And then you pray and you ask God for guidance. The Bible says, if you lack wisdom, ask God for wisdom and he will give it to you. And so we lack that so many times and he wants to be our wisdom and guide us and illuminate our path. And you can even pray, light of the world, light my path guide me to the very next step. And what we've noticed is that so many times we pray, God, show me what to do next. And we want God to lay it all out for us. You know, it, just this, this big plan that's all laid out, perfectly organized. And, and most of the time, God just says, here's the next step. And it's really clear. The next step is really clear. And then the next step is really clear. But then you don't know five steps from now. You don't know two steps from now. And, and one of the things that's so important to remember is, don't try to solve all of your problems um, before you take those steps. Because if you're waiting to take those steps uh, and you want to solve all your problems before you get started, then you'll never take the steps. So you take the step and then you'll see new problems and God will guide you and God will give you the strength. Um, and But you just can't solve it all, you know, before you take those steps. So you take one step at a time and let God guide you. And one of the things that I always want to do when I'm praying for God to give me wisdom on a decision or the next step is for God to open doors and God to close doors. Um, and I always want to ask this question, will this walking through this door bring me closer to God or take me further away from God? That's a really important question because God always wants to draw you closer. And that's his, that's his heart. And he's got a great plan for you. And so the other thing you want to ask is what is my passion? because God puts passions in our heart and he doesn't want us to waste those passions and gifts. And so that's another thing that I always ask, God, does this fit my passion? Am I, am I doing what you've made me to do? But it always starts with God. And it's not that God speaks an audible voice, but he will impress upon our hearts um, that next step as we're seeking him and wanting what he wants and, and we're trying to walk in his path. And we also ask other believers that are further along than us, wiser, more mature, we ask for their advice, but ultimately it comes down to God, what do you want? And the Bible says that if you will acknowledge him in all your ways, he will make your path straight. I love that promise because it's saying, if you're putting God first and really seeking to put him first, you're not doing everything perfectly, but you're seeking to put God first and you're acknowledging him that he's the only way and the path, then you can't go wrong. You can't take a wrong turn. He will guide you every step of the way. Sometimes you'll stumble but you'll never fall. He'll pick you up. He'll keep you from stumbling. God bless you. We love you. Have a great weekend. We'll pick back up on Monday, but be here this weekend. It's going to be a powerful message as we continue the series, Spark. Getting God's creative vision and letting God create those sparks of new dreams and, and, and new hopes and new paths in your life. God bless you.